Hello guys, welcome to the video. Um, something a little bit different today. Um, I've got a little bit of time this lunch time, so I just thought I'd uh, go for a little bit of a uh, bit of a wander. Um, I've decided to go around sort of the Alton Broad area of Laurelstoft, just to have a look at some of the boats, some you know, just to see what the water levels are like. Um, even maybe have a look at the salt side, just to see what's about. I'll probably start at the salt side and then just have a bit of a wander, see what I can get filmed in, uh, I've got about about an hour, so I'll just go out and see what I can get done. But first of all, what I'd like to say is thank you to all the new subscribers. If you are new here, welcome. This is Lee's Angling Sessions. I'm Lee. It's great to have you. If you are a member that's been here before, welcome back. Again, it's always great to have new faces and old faces alike so we'll uh, get ourselves out of the car we're gonna have a wander right here we are guys you join me so i can walk past the wherry hotel as you can see there very nice hotel nice and old some lovely carveries in there i've managed to make it to the salt side i'm now walking under the bridge as you can see um, let's see how the water levels are. As you can see, it's fairly high at the moment. I'll get you a closer look in a moment as well. Um, I can't remember with regards to the time as to whether it's coming up or down, but I believe it may be coming up. Let's see, there's all the uh, <coughs> the area there. Possibly some lovely fish under there at some point during the summer or maybe even the winter, I'm not sure. But uh, let's have a little look, go a little bit further along for you. Apologies for the echo, I am, as you can see, under a road bridge. And uh, that's obviously what you can hear is the echo of that and possibly the cars going under. And here is the salt side. Some old sort of ruined jetties there as you can see the uh, lower stuffed or the Alton Broad Spring Bridge for the railway um, if you look at one of my shorts a little bit further down I believe I have one on there of that actually moving which is uh, for me a uh, first because I don't think I've ever seen it move before before that short but um, that's a nice little sight to see as you can see, you've got the full salt side where boats can come through under the bridge there and then out into Alton Broad. It's the uh, Harbour Master's office for the bridge up there. So let's go and have a look back and see what the, the, uh, the locks look like from the other side. And as I'm walking, you can see the uh, the water there, where when this is on high tide, the water actually comes through this little hole here, and it floods out all under here. Sometimes you can barely walk through it, if at all. Um, a lot of the times people have to go up onto that, uh, just onto this little, place here to walk past because you can see where the water levels have all come up here where they're all where they're all green as you can see down the back here just due to how high the tide can come up um, as you can see it's fairly high at the moment I would imagine it's subsiding at this time of the day but then it could um, obviously potentially come up a lot more than this but uh, given recent weather conditions and what I believe um, we may be having a storm in the next few days, I'm not 100% sure, with wintry showers, whether that will push it up even further or not, I really don't know. But uh, as I walk up the little hill, out from under the bridge, you can see they've got the, uh, the locks there with the little um, power unit there to power them as well. They also have the, uh, the manual release if required 
Let's carry on and we'll have a little look. <coughs> As you can see, a, a life ring just there, which is a fantastic idea. I'll just uh, have a little stop here and we'll have a look either side. As you can see, if I can just get through the grates, you can see it comes up there there as well. Certainly wouldn't want to fall in there. It's rather cold today I believe. Whether there's any fish in there I'm not sure but it looks a very likely holding spot for them. Um, but we'll uh, maybe give it a go one day. This is lovely and calm this side. But we'll have a look the other side as we go past. Just carry on walking as you See, we've had the, uh, the River Tours boot just to our right here. Let's get a slight closer look at that. It's the uh, Waveney Princess, as you can see. We'll try and zoom in for you a little bit. No, unfortunately not today. But you can certainly see a difference in the calmness of the, uh, the locks. Waveney Princess there. It's also another boat here which I don't believe has moved for quite a while. Named the, uh, the Southern Bell, as you can see, or may not be able to see. And uh, there's a boat behind that, as you can see. It is actually uh, named Mickey Mouse, with a little picture of uh, Mickey on the side as well. So we'll uh, keep having a wander. Before I forget, something I was going to show you is there is some details here. What I'll do is I'll just hover over these for you. So if you wish to have a little read, you may wish to pause the video possibly and have a little read for yourself. Lovely picture of the wherry there. The various shots we've got on the front there at Alton Broad. There's another there for you to read like I say if you wish to pause the video feel free to and have a look a picture of the nice park there that they have and also the marshes as well right let's carry on and have a look for booking your river tours if you wish to go on it. Very small little birds if you can see those there at all. Lovely sight to see. There's a bit of a close up here. I'll see how close I can get for you without getting myself into trouble. these rocks. Here's a look close up the southern southern bell we looked at a moment ago. In the background there, the Waveney Princess also. Just a glimpse of one of the older vessels there as well. You can see it's a little bit rough on the broads today. Probably as you can hear due to the wind, so apologies if you can't hear me very well. It is rather windy on this uh, vast open space. Let's have a little hop up here. You must be careful, it's very slippery. As you can see, the tide has been up here quite recently. It's all the swans. Having a little bath. And again, the smaller, smaller birds, as you can see. some very unsafe structures. Years ago, there used to be, just a little bit of history for you, um, there used to be a pontoon or a jetty that 
came straight off the end of here and went straight out into probably, I'd probably say to about where that second boat is there. Many a days I spent on the end of that fishing. It's a, it was a fantastic little uh, little jetty to fish from. I think during the years it's obviously become unrepairable, so they decided to get rid of it. You can still see the uh, still see the connections down here if I get a bit closer that they used to connect the jetty to, as you can see. Let's keep having a wander. I'll bring you back in a moment. All right, guys, I'm a little bit further on. As you can see, I was over there a moment ago. I just stopped to have a chat with a, uh, a chap that was uh, taking some photos and just doing some general photography. Lovely chap to speak to. Um, as you can see, some lovely lovely birds around this area got some lovely swans just having a bit of a chill dare I walk past them in case they get jumped <laughs> but uh, we'll get past them in a moment Let's see if we can just squeeze on by stay there oh hello there he is I think he's saying hello. Fairly small one compared to some of them. As you can see, they're all chilling. Having a rest, I would imagine. So as you can see, it's quite, quite rough out there this morning. Well, uh, or this evening, this afternoon even. But um, I'll uh, surely go back in at some point. As you can see just up there, the water's starting to come in slightly higher. I'd imagine the tide's coming in. See some, some geese down here. Here's a little pigeon. <laughs> right, lots and lots of kitty wakes along the front there. Let's see if I can just hop over the wall without falling over. I suppose you guys I know would uh, love that. There we are. They've all decided to disappear on me. But, yeah. Oh, like so as you can see, it's fairly, I wouldn't say rough, but I wouldn't want to be swimming in it if I was a, if I was a swan, but there we are. Some boats looking a little bit tired and dated. Probably make uh, lovely fishing boats if um, they were to be, uh, craned out and uh, cleaned up a little. Hello Mr. Swan. Having a bit of a stretch. I think they've uh, come over to see if I've got anything to eat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some old, some boats there which unfortunately have been left. Bit of a wander up there as you can see all the, all the moorings up this way. See all the old rusted out mooring rings there as you can see and the day boats which you can actually hire from uh, there's a little shop just beyond that tree there Alton Broad day boats self-drive day boats for hire got a lovely little uh, coffee shop there the keys and as you can see Lee's Alton Broad Fishing Tackle Shop. Thoroughly recommend the place. It's got some, uh, it's quite a nice quaint little shop. There's some lovely, uh, lovely offers and just generally a nice shop. I normally get my bait from there if I come along here. Very, uh, very well priced. So, cool. Having a wander, as you can see, day boats from a different angle. And the jetty for the day boats. We'll have a little wander. So hopefully, we don't get ourselves into trouble. I can't see why we should or why we would. As you can see, 
and sort the day boots. Rather comfortable, some with padded seats, some with just the, as you can see, the standard seat there. There's a bench seat. But I think that'd be quite nice to take one of those out one day and just have a little cruise up and down the broads. I know that can go slightly quicker than the Sib, but uh, we'll see. It feels a little bit rough on the end here. I think that one's having a bit of a party going on there. It's another, another little vessel there as well. And as you can see, you are unable to fish from this jetty, unlike the one you were able to from out the side there. Uh, let's have a little wander back and we'll uh, carry on with our walk. But, uh, lovely day today, a little bit chilly on the wind side. Apologies if it's uh, again, if you're having difficulty hearing me but, uh, in the wind. I have got the um, wind protection on the uh, microphone, but hopefully, you can still hear me okay, everyone take a wander into the well they call it a yacht basin but I'm not really 100% sure what to call it really um, sort of an older boat there which I know the uh, 935W I know that that is also used often by a gentleman that fishes off the uh, front in the matches he'll often take that out and just sit just on that very corner there, so it's not in the little harbour area here. As you can see, we've got some prices here. If that is something that you would be interested in in the future, I will just hold this there for a moment. There we are. Fairly competitive prices, I would imagine. But, uh, well, they're owning a boat to moor up. I wouldn't be sure. I believe someone's actually come along and placed some brand new mooring rings up as well. There's quite a few of them this side, as you can see. Nice bright silver. And the old plowed it work boat can often be seen out in the middle with a uh, barge being towed behind it with a little crane on it which is used to dredge the broads at times there's a few a few nice little boats along there as you can see well I say little boats so some of them are really quite nice to be honest but uh, probably worth a lot of money so I'd imagine there's a few pounds worth sat in here Pop into the park. Walking up to the gates here, as you can see, Got a sign there for Nicholas Everett Park. So, pop us through the gate. I believe there is a sign here that gives you some information around the park and the scale of the, uh, the broads and everything there. Unfortunately, the writing is very, very small, so I'm unable to get the uh, the writing in for you, but that is the park and the broad. As you turn around, you can see the broad just behind, just uh, in front of us here. Sorry, if you wander up the steps, a bit of a noisy flagpole going on there with the with the wind, but not to worry. A little bit of a closer look here. As you See at the, uh, the boats we saw a moment ago. This little houseboat there in the, in the side. Unfortunately, we're not allowed down that way, otherwise, I would take you down to look. But I'm going to respect the privacy of the owners on there. So, I believe some people are on their boats as we speak. I wonder, as you can see, the the water has been fairly high recently. Um, as seen by the watermark here, 
which has come all the way up from there. It's not come over the side this way, due to this being a very sort of steep bank for it to come up, but as it's come up the smaller slope, you can see here we have the nice open broad itself. And during the summer, this should be absolutely packed and lined with fishermen, um, especially on certain mornings and evenings where they hold uh, matches for the Old Olden Broad Piscatorial Club. You'll often find me sat just on the very last part there, just where that railing finishes. I normally like to just set myself down there and fish just out by the boats. As you can see, well, as you probably hear as well, very, very windy today, so apologies again. And then we have the railings here, just to prevent anything. As you can see, it's extremely slippery today. I was hoping I don't fall over. <laughs> I know uh, some of you would probably like to see that, but I wouldn't like to uh, do that. I've done that in the past, to the point where I was in an all-in-one suit. As I stepped down in the rain, I slid on the green, unfortunately, where there was no barrier. And I ended up to my neck in the water, which was rather entertaining and uh, difficult to get out. But uh, as you can see, it's the broad there. Lovely wide open spans of water. Perfect for a little day boat or sib of some kind. You'll often see, again, as I say, during the summer when they have the matches on here, as well as this area here lined with fishermen. You can often see them sat just at the back here somewhere. And all along here, where those boys are, in their own personal boats, they'll moor up or they'll, they'll drop anchor there with a mud weight or whatever weight they prefer to use. And that is where they will fish for the duration of the match. And there has been some uh, fantastic weights caught here in the past. Unfortunately, not by me. <laughs> but uh, in previous matches, as you can see, where people have been fishing it recently, that have uh, scraped all the algae away and all the greenery. Let's have a little wander up these stairs and have a look at the park. As you can see the Alton Broad Yacht Club up that way. The little building there, which is also where they hold meetings for the powerboats on the in the uh, powerboat evenings. And there's the Nicholas. Everett Park. Now that building over there with the blue door is actually a museum. Um, I will possibly go around there one day and maybe take you with me. As you can see there's a bandstand there. You've got the Everett's Park Calf just behind that. So if you can see the green at the back there where they've got the round trees ice lollies there. Unfortunately, at the moment, all shut up for the winter. Do a lovely cup of tea, some fantastic, fantastic nights. Um, watching the power boats, they'll have a little barbecue. They'll have uh, quite a busy time on power boat nights, which is fantastic to see. It's a little local business. Obviously, we've got to try and support our local businesses where we can. Um, you see the bandstand there. And the expanse of the park with broad in the background. Some lovely houses in the background as well. Uh, let's uh, have a wander across the field. And I'll bring you back when we get to the other side. All right, made it to the other side. As you can see, it's rather boggy. Uh, luckily, I've got my boots on so I'm hoping I don't get too damp we should be okay 
Yep. We're fine. Boots held out perfectly fine as they were designed to do, which is always a bonus when they do what they're supposed to. Right, let's go up these stairs here and I will show you where they uh, launch the uh, power boats from when they're racing of an evening. So you can see the back there of the Waveney and Alton Broad Yacht Club. It's up these few stairs to what I class as the back of the Broad. Fantastic view that is. I believe there may even be a tiny little, I'm not sure if you can see them in the background there, a little windsurfer. See there's a bit of a, oh, a bit of a wind blowing that water in up the stairs today. But yeah, normally what they will do is they will have everyone gathered in this area power boats like the teams and the officials and everything like that and then uh, they will have the boats in here we'll get a bit close to the edge I don't want to fall in they'll have the boats all the line up around here with the teams and then as they get the call to go or the the buzzer if you will they will release the boats and they will shoot straight over that opening there round one of the first boys in the background there and then round and straight up the end there to what they call the wherry turn <sighs> right so we'll just get ourselves onto this jetty so we can have a little bit of a wander there's a little bit of a, a beach kind of section there as you can see a lot of people come down in the summer just to sort of walk their dogs and let them have a bit of a paddle in the hot weather. But when they don't do too far, out into the board. Unfortunately, by the looks of it, we are unable to go any further, but that's okay. Um, let's have a little read of this on here. Says, the Yacht Club will not accept any liability for any loss, injury or damage caused by unauthorised persons accessing these pontoons so and it even says there as well on the side if you can read it from here I'll see if I can get you a better angle private jetty please keep off WOBYC which is the wave in the Alton Broad Yacht Club That's a, I think you can probably agree with me that is a fantastic view especially when the Sun is setting Although the clouds don't look too happy at the moment, or the sky even right at the back there, I can feel a few spots on me at the moment. But uh, I'm okay. That's not too bad, is it? And uh, there's still the sun trying to break through there. Vast amount of reeds. I will have a little bit of a wander back this way. I'll show you the little pond that they've got just right at the back there. Normally holds quite a few ducks. It's quite nice just to sit around and relax in these areas, which is what I sometimes like to do, hence the, the little wander today. It's just nice having a bit of a uh, excuse me, a bit of a wander about. Just sort of clear your head if needed. If not, just for fitness maybe. Um, but I do tend to like walking around this area. I know you may may have seen it from some of my shorts recently but uh, as you can see I think we can all agree that that's a very lovely place to come and relax especially in the evening you can possibly sit on those benches there as you can see and watch the sunset because the sun will actually set way into the background along here and it looks absolutely fantastic of an evening especially in the summer when it's nice and warm you get the late evenings, around about eight, half past eight, nine o'clock. Oh, you can't beat it in my opinion. Here we are, here's the little little pond. See Mr. Mallard and all the other little ducks and some reeds growing in there just to give them a little bit of a habitat. Nice tree in the middle there. Just walk over a nice sort of quaint little bridge there to get over to the other side. There used to be, 
years ago, the pond, where it stops just here, it used to be over around here by the end of these lilies just here, or not the lilies, sorry, the, the vegetation and everything here. But over the years, I think what they've done is as the, the water has brought everything in this way, they've gradually sort of taken this slightly shorter to give space. There's the pond there, you've seen them sheltering under the tree as well. There's quite a few of them here as well, so I'm having a nice little, nice little relax in the pond. This one having a little, little wash and a flap as you can see there. Just sitting and by the ducks for a moment, there's a nice calm, relaxing uh, pastime. Right. As you can see, various as well, various benches dotted around the park area and the it's where they uh, install a uh, friendship bench just to sit, have a good day, uh, you know, just have a nice little relax and then uh, just wind, wind down possibly. See some lovely trees. Fantastic in the sun with all the leaves and fully blossomed as well. There's something I've just noticed as well, which I'd forgotten to mention about. There's a lovely memorial bench here that was put in a few years back. As you can see, it's relatively new for the uh, the veterans and the unfortunate ones that were never able to turn, uh, return home. It's a fantastic little tribute to those, which I admire quite a bit actually. It's very, very nice the way it's been done and formed in a manner to sit and sort of hug the tree, if you like, which I think is a fantastic, fantastic little piece. As well here, as you can see, all these newer trees that have been planted over the various past few years. I'm not going to go into them just to respect the privacy of some people, but um, as you can see, the little memorial plaques that they have on them here some of which unfortunately have become eroded what with the possible uh, salt that we have in the air living so close to the water and again another one there as you can see lovely little tribute to a, a loved one that is no longer with us unfortunately for whatever reason that may be. And a lovely, lovely memorial here for the Coastal, Coastal Forces Veterans Association in remembrance. It's a nice little anchor and a cross. Kind of always feel like it often brings it home, doesn't it? That what obviously with the uh, oh, hello, I've got a little friend here. Look, I haven't got anything for you, I'm afraid. No, I haven't. Sorry, <laughs> um, but yeah, as I was saying, it kind of brings it home that not everybody that goes out, not necessarily in war, but uh, even out to sea in any vessel that unfortunately was never able to make it home to their loved ones. <sighs> right, let's have a little wander up here and I will bring you back in a moment when I'm a little bit further along. Alright guys, I'm almost back to the car. It's been a lovely little walk. Thank you for coming with me, I do appreciate it. Um, 
I'd like to finish off by saying um, a massive thank you to all the new subscribers. Like I said at the start of the video, I really do appreciate you all. It really does, uh, really does make a difference to have so many of you in 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 my personal life as well. Um, to have you all in, knowing that you want to watch content from myself. Um, and returning viewers, again, I thank you. Um, without obviously the subscribers and and the views, this wouldn't be possible. So, uh, with that being said, I'd like to just request, if possible, that we could all give it a thumbs up if you like the video, comment if you wish, share, and uh, please, if you like what you saw, give me a follow or, or even a subscribe. It's completely free, and that'll help the channel out more than you'll know. So, for now guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later.